coming together quite nicely so we can pick up this little reverse hit put in there we've got this which can go there we've got this sound effect so we put him new channel and then we've got our little vocal riser <laughs> it's mine. And then let's get rid of that whistle on the drop. Just consolidate that there. Get him before. Maybe let's try a little variation. We could get another little sort of sound effect, maybe this one. I'm gonna put that one in the groove, but we're gonna make these white noise sort of effects really, really quiet. <laughs> it's mine. Okay, so we're gonna see what we can do with this. I think I'm going to get rid of that part. So we're definitely going to need an echo on the synth. It's mm, not really working. Let's try delay. Because then we've got the echo from that and then the echo that we're trying to add is sort of clashing, so I don't know if that's going to work. So maybe we could look to add something in here. That's quite cool. Just on the drop. Yeah, so that's rolling really nice how I want it to. So let's start affecting some automation lines. And I think what I'm going to have is the hats all just sort of come out after that last clap. So then you sort of have this pause. Taking drums out and like percussion and stuff like that and having that bit of silence before the bass comes in just slaps in the club. <laughs> And because the track's already sort of quite wet and washed out from the style of vibe we're going for, we can really push that reverb a bit more than I would in like something a bit techier, which is a bit more harsh. Um, and in fact, what I can even do 
that emphasis, that reverb on the last clap. So I can do something like this. It's mine. It's mine. A bit too much. It's mine. There. It's probably about it's right. Mine. It's mine. So I don't think it needs this um, dub thing at the minute. It's mine. So let's have a look, see what else we can do. Something we can do and we haven't done yet is affect all my hi-hats, which is not that one. I don't think that's a percussion in it. I mean, that's more of a synth, so let's bring them down and pop them in the synth group. So we have our shakers and tops. Yep, so all of these besides them can be grouped. I'm gonna call these hats. And then we're gonna use a return channel to then affect the hi hats. So I use for this modulation where is it? It's actually in here. Saturn. So I use Saturn. So there's some really good modulation presets. Um, I came across them probably about a year ago, just sort of flicking through, trying to find new interesting things to do. And it's just stuck as part of my process now. Um, so you have access to the preset there and you know what the what the plugin is so feel free to copy if you want um but i would recommend just like trying different plugins so maybe try satin 2 i imagine they've got some different variations uh you can have get the same effect from tantra effectrix beat repeat as well just play around um and try and create something unique but the way we're going to use it is we're going to go show automation and we're just going to bring some sort of character to you can just hear how it's starting to glitch out so that's what i do i always do it on my hi-hats if you do it with the clap in there as well it can become a bit intense um works for some tracks but for this one it doesn't and you can always do the same on the percussion group as well. Sometimes I may um, have a separate satin or use a different plugin like I just mentioned earlier. But if we just, you might be able to hear it a bit better in here. So I'm just gonna keep that on there for this track and we're gonna automate this one up quite heavily and as well with automation lines if you weren't aware you can bend them so you need to hold option highlight the thing um, highlight the line sorry and then you can bend them like so so then you can create more unique automation curves um, personally because I've got a lot of automation lines I do just tend to keep them straight um, but there's no right or wrong so <laughs> So I just want to get these vocal placements a bit better. Whistle might be better. Just 
kept as it was. grid where that's happening so I think maybe there <laughs> sounds better <Come> on. <laughs> Come on. so we could get away with something a bit more drastic happening after this drop so We've left that hi-hat quite late, so I'm thinking about bringing it forward. Come on. I'm going to keep him over there. We're going to bring this one forward. Actually, we're going to put him there. That's what I'm thinking. So let's have a look at our synths, see if we can get some more variety through that. So we've still got this bass hit. And then we're going to resample. And then record enable that. Bit of reverb, bit of delay. That's better. So let's delete that. And then what we can do is we can grab this bass hit, grab him at the front, reverse him. And to sort of dub it out a bit more maybe, let's just try and take away some of the highs, or mids, high mids. Even give it a little resonance. Supply a delay to the actual whole group on a channel, shall I say? So that might work just a bit better for the style of track. So I'm going to just turn that off because I like the effect so we might be able to duplicate this and have two different versions because if I just get rid of those notes and then turn this back on that has a really nice effect no. so we may be able to just create something with that later on I feel like we could get the acid in now. Cool, so let's record that in. So we're in the right place, yep. Just go from there. So that's following the same as for synth, so I don't want it there, I don't think. I think I want it to happen a bit earlier. Just, just try that. Come on. 
Quite like that. Shorten the notes. Bring down the velocity. Yeah, that's it. Maybe change it to square. be nice with it. Quite like just the free to be honest. Let's just duplicate that. Delete that little part there. So what I'm thinking with this one is have it more like that just to start with and then we can maybe develop that as we go along. So in the groove, uh, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Let's get that one that we used earlier on. And I'm, what I'm thinking is having that synth hit just before. And then having like everything drop out. So we haven't had like pure silence in the track yet. Let's see what this sounds like. Maybe leave it clapping just for a minute. Yeah, that sounds sick. needed because we can maybe add some stuff so let's have a look we've got forgotten what that is now but let's put it there get rid of him So that one sounded pretty nice there. So again, I'm going to use the utility. Uh, some people use filters, some people use utilities. It depends on the effect you want. So remember, a filter is filtering, is automating the frequencies, how they come in. Whereas a utility is just automating the total gain of the track or the channel that you're affecting, shall I say. 
So what you can find if I was to do this with a filter, because these um, sort of dub notes are very mid-range, is it'll be quiet, 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 and then as soon as that filter gets to about, I don't know, 5k, maybe a bit more, the sound will be very prominent because it hasn't got much top end and it hasn't got any low end, whereas this sort of use, whereas using a utility is just going to automate the whole track. Okay, so let's grab that whistle again. And we're going to just try and get some sort of like vocal hit. Maybe use this one. I've used earlier. Put in. Maybe just try and keep it more alive by affecting it. Oh, not that one. This one. Let's try that. And then um, we had this on a new channel, didn't we? Um, we reversed it. So I'm just going to save quickly because I haven't saved at all. And so we have got to the two minute mark. So we're not far off what I said. I said I wanted to get about three minutes done. Um, so that's pretty good going considering I stop and talk and explain everything. So what I'm just going to do quickly is we are just going to tidy up what you've created because so it's looking a bit of a mess currently so okay we're going to leave that for today's one and we are going to then go through our first breakdown